tell me first, what are you here for? So we're here at Skyborne. Skyborne is a, uh, a small engineering company that is uh, building killer robots. And the killer robots are small drones. So they're a type of small arm. They're small uh, drones that you might usually see a camera on. But these are going to be weaponized drones. So they're building firepower off the drone. Uh, so they're going to be able to be killing people. And what we know about them is that they'll have some distance in space between the operator and the, and the drone. So as soon as you get distance and space and time between the operator and the drone, what you have is an automatic system, some sort of automatic weapon system. And that's why they come under the category of killer robots. And we say that these killer robots are crossing the red line. They're crossing the ethical red line. You will see these types of, of instruments at land forces, at the land forces exhibition in Brisbane in June. But these people will be there trying to sell their technology and deal with other weapons dealers to combine technologies to create new types of instruments that kill. Uh, these are weapons. These are weapons systems. This is a weapons manufacturer. We're here at an arms dealer in suburban Murray. And of course, it's, it's not the only arms dealer in suburban Brisbane. It's one of many. We have a map of at least 12. Dear Dr. Michael Cray, Andrew Dudock and staff at Skyborne, we are gathered outside your company today in protest. We are saddened and deeply concerned that some of Brisbane's best minds are being utilised to design and make weapons intended to kill other human beings. Your touted leading robotic defence products and software, while clever and sophisticated, are cold and calculating and so removed from the human tragedy and suffering that they inflict often upon innocent civilians that any sense of moral responsibility or compassion would seem to be made deliberately null and void we stand for peace and the upholding of human rights war weapons of war and conflict only create more violence and death destruction of the environment and alarming numbers of displaced people. It is escalating. It is wasteful but lucrative. It is horrific and unacceptable to us. The truth is, Skyborne, once you on-sell your weapons, be they small arms, weapon systems or components or munitions, to places like the United States, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Indonesia, you have no control over what happens to them and in whose hands these weapons will end up. We are here non-violently to ask you two simple things. One, will you support the growing voices asking for autonomous systems to be banned? That lethal weapons will only ever be used with meaningful human oversight that you will not cross the red line. Uh, two, will you give a donation from the lucrative grant that you receive from government and support the work of engineers without borders who use their skills and talents to build resources and housing for the poor and underdeveloped countries? Is death making what you really want to be doing with your life? In the name of all that is wholesome and life-giving, could you not use your knowledge, innovative ideas and skills and your vision for the future into creating technologies that will improve people's lives, not destroy them, sustain the earth, not ruin it, build harmonious and healthy trading relationships with our neighbouring countries rather than fueling fear and mistrust. When your children ask, what do you do, Daddy or Mummy? We know what answer we'd like to be giving. We ask you to act with moral courage and integrity and divest from weapons making. And we await your reply. In peace and goodwill, members of Wage Peace and disrupt land forces making a killing campaign. We're here in suburban Brisbane at one of the many, many weapons manufacturer that exists 
uh, inner place. I was totally unaware about the amount of weapon production here in suburbia, in a place uh, which I call home. And it is hidden. It is hidden from plain sight what happens that here in our peaceful country, or rather uh, the uh, country that gives itself a peaceful appearance despite a very horrific and bloody history and presence. And every one of us has the choice to make whether they invest their time and their skills for something that is life enhancing and life enriching and makes society work for all of us or whether they take the shortcut and this, uh, continue the terrible history of destruction, of fighting each other, of making a killing by providing the weapons to kill other people. In the 21st century, we should have been come to a stage where war and killing randomly should have come to an end. We know that war never changed the situation to the better. It always increases the problems that already existed. Um, we create refugees, we create environmental destruction, and all the resources that could be used to make society work for everyone get literally blown up. And worst of all, this is not uh, a free market enterprise. This is done by taxpayers' money, without subsidies of governments and support in form of police to prevent protests against their actions in form of grants that make it easier for a company not to compete for anything good, but just to suck life energy out of human society. That's why we're here in suburban uh, Brisbane to remind the people that work the skybound technology that they have a choice to work on the right side of history. Thank you. We want people to, to, to go to disruptlandforces.org and sign up to help us stop the weapons trade. This weapons trade is occurring all over Australia. This is just a tiny example of what's happening in each of the cities. Uh, people in Adelaide know what is going on in Adelaide. People in Melbourne know that Lockheed Martin is building a unit at Melbourne University. People in Sydney know the western suburbs are also full of weapons dealers. We've got uh, weapons dealers across Australia. There's an enormous amount of money flowing in at the moment. So go to disruptlandforces.org and look at what we're doing to stop the, the weapons exhibition. They will be meeting in June uh, to sell weapons and we think they'll be selling into Indonesia and we need them to rule out selling to Indonesia where they weapons go towards killing West Papuans. Um, and the massive militarisation of the central areas of West Papua at the moment. So if you can sign up for Disrupt Land Forces, um, make contact with us and we'll help you get involved. Peace, yes. Lovely. So our message is they're crossing the red line. This is no longer um, about defense.